Well, while we're waiting, let's talk about this boat. Hey, this yeah. is Rick with Mike and Rick Outdoors, and that's Mike over there getting his fishing pole rigged up. He's already caught one fish and... Uh, Hooked another one and got yep. off. And so we're, I think, it's a gorgeous day out here. We're at 11 Mile Reservoir here in Colorado near Lake George, Colorado. It's great. It's a beautiful lake. It's a lot of fish in this lake. So, But what we want to talk about today was this uh, brisk boat and how well it's held up. It, it's been two years, right? Yeah. So it's had almost two years now, almost exactly two years. And uh, before we get into that and he tells you about that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos. So Mike, we've had several people, I mean, I, I wanna say four or five at least just recently, who have been asking about the Briss boat, how it's held up, do you still like it, been any problems, I mean, what's, I mean, I, I pretty much know what's going on, but I'd like you to answer it. You've used it more, and but what do you, what's going on with the boat? Well, when I bought the boat, when you buy a Briz boat, this is a 12 and a half foot boat, and you can buy one that has the extra thick uh, rubber bottom on the boat. And uh, you pay a little bit more, but it's worth it to me. Uh, Cause that's what, you know, you hit stobs or on rafting down the creeks and rivers, you'll, uh, hit rocks and scrape it, which we've done. And so I wanted the extra thick. I didn't want it to poke hole in it. But I have not had any problems with it leaking anywhere. And these seats are really sturdy and they hold up really good with two people sitting on them. It's, hey, we got a real good scrape on that Arkansas River. Right. But it held up well. Hey, somebody was asking about the transom, or is it the transom on the back that the motor sits on? Right. What what kind of material? How, how's that? It's not metal, right? It's no. It's it's a. Uh, it's very well made. Uh, it's had, It's got a. Um, it's real. It's reinforced, and designed really well. It doesn't move around or doesn't flex at all. It's real sturdy and really strong. I used to run an electric motor on it, and of course that worked really fine. And then I bought a hang guy, a hang guy outboard motor. And they had, some people, I've watched videos where they had these boats like this, this big and maybe even smaller, and they would get the six horsepower, the 12 horsepower, on up to the uh, uh, 18, and which is what I bought. I bought the 18, but I, I sent an email to Briz, I mean to, uh, yeah, Briz Boat Company, and they're really good about responding. I've corresponded with them many times on many different issues, and uh, they, uh, I broke a paddle one time, they sent me a new one, but they're really good to responding. And I asked them, what's the maximum horsepower that I could put on this boat? And they said 25. So that's really amazing. You can go up to 25 horsepower. The 18 is plenty for this boat. And when I'm in it by myself, it just, when you actually plane out and going flat, I mean, I'm moving 20, 25 miles an hour, which is fast on the water. So I'm really impressed with the, the boat. No problems, no issues with it. It's held up. I can get out on a big like 11 mile reservoir out here now where we're at now and buzz around anywhere on the lake I wanna go with this 18 horsepower motor. And also I can take it off and just put the electric motor on if I'm in a smaller lake or a pond and then take everything off of it when I'm rafting down the river. Like we'd uh, float and let the current carry us on the Arkansas River, we've done that, and other rivers. And so it works really well for whatever conditions you want, but I've had no issues with the boat. It's absolutely fantastic. It never leaks out holes there. And what's amazing about this boat, I've taken my mother out in it a few times. She's horrified of the water and turned over in the boat and all that. And I stood on, you can stand on the side of this boat and it will not turn over. If you get out of the water, get in and out, you can climb over and you get in and out of it real easy. You can stand on it. It's an extremely stable boat. You cannot turn this thing over, which is good if you get out in a bunch of waves out in the lake and a storm comes up or you're rafting down the, the river. Uh, it's real, really, really stable boat. I have no complaints. Absolutely a fantastic boat. I have no buyer's remorse. It's the best thing I've ever spent money on. Briz boat. And I recommend getting, you know, Hang Guy. Hang Guy is the brand. And there's a few videos out there where people have bought the Hang Guy uh, motor and liked it, had good reviews on it. And I paid like uh, $1,700 for the Hang Guy. 
But if you get a Mercury uh, or a name brand motor, you're going to pay twice that. You're going to pay $3,000. And uh, I, I'm running this hang guy, so I'm going to see how long it lasts. And it runs good. I had no problems, issues with it. And see how long it lasts. And, uh, and if it doesn't last very long or there's problems with it. But I haven't seen anybody complain about the hang guy. And for the money, it's definitely worth it. Unless you want to spend three or $4,000 for an equivalent Mercury outboard. Hey, Mike, there was another question somebody had, and it's that about that piece that's aired up underneath the, the floor here. What do you call that? The keel. The keel. And they were asking one, I think, or somebody asked how well it was holding up. But then there was another question about how many connection points are there with the keel? The keel, uh, when I first bought it, it was... Uh, kind of velcro type connected to the bottom of the boat to kind of hold it in place and moving it around a lot and transporting the boat and setting it up and taking it down that kind of came loose which was no big deal no issue and so uh it just lays down in the bottom of the is it, boat is it connected anymore or is it no just... it's not connected but when you put the floor on top it's not moving when you air it up right? no it doesn't move at all and there's a, the bottom plates that go on the bottom of the boat, the front plate has a hole in it where the air vent is to, to pump air into the keel. And you want the keel, it serves a purpose, that's why they, the bridge put it in there. Uh, when you're just rafting and going down the river, you really don't need it, but if you're buzzing across the lake with an 18 horsepower motor on here, it, it, it uh, the boat moves, I'm not a, outboard boat motor enthusiast that much but it it helps to have a keel when you're traveling going fast over the water so uh, now you've had a no couple, problem with the keel at all so you've had a, a couple things you've had to get replaced from briz and one of them was an oar they replaced that really quick we were on the arkansas river it cracked and it hit a rock or something and uh, they replaced that quick there was something when you first got it i thought that you the front the front panel okay in, in shipping the, the it's a triangular shaped piece it's some type of marine the floor, plywood the floor panel floor panel yeah. marine plywood type and in shipping one of the corners was kind of dinged and bent a little bit of course when you get a brand new something you pay pay for it you want it to be perfect and so it was dinged on the corner a little bit and i took a picture of it and sent it back to briz and I emailed them the picture, and they sent me a brand new and free of charge. And when I broke one of the oars, uh, hitting a rock with it, it was really rough with it. It's a quality oars, and they're just really rough with it at a time. And they replaced that really quick. And so I've got the original and the new one they sent me. Was there anything else that was? That was it. Okay. No, no problems I had with it. Well, the, and the oh. oar, you can blame that on me because I was doing, I was uh, <laughs> take, controlling the boat down the river. Mike was fishing. That was a... A beautiful day, but that was a little rough uh, getting over those rocks. But that's when we also had the big scrape on the bottom. But it was we man, we we hit bottom on that rock pretty hard. But it's just it's a scrape, but it didn't gouge it out. We were on the river late in the summer, like um, September, September or August, yeah, and all the rafting companies they were they were done. They were off the river. They weren't rafting anymore because it was too low. And so we, being newbies, not knowing what we're doing, we went out there anyway and bounced off the bottom quite a bit and uh and the bolt held up much fine maybe a few looking scratches on the rubber but it did, did no damage at all to the boat and we we bounced we bounced bottom quite a bit all right well i think that does it unless you have anything i think you said everything you need to say uh, I, I mean I, I, it was like i said I've, I've been on the boat with you several times and uh same thing it's held up really well but overall, the, the Briz boat makes it, uh, I was always worried about it leaking, uh, one of the seams coming loose or something, but it's just from, from and folding it up, and you fold it up pretty tight, putting a lot of, I would think, a lot of stress and strain on those seams when you fold it up. But it's, I've, I've folded it and unfolded it probably a dozen times, and no problem at all with that, and it's no leaks anywhere. It's real, I think they really uh, know what they were doing when they put this thing together with really big wide seams, really strong glue. I mean, no problems with it leaking at all anywhere. 
All right, well, that's going to do it for today. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos. Thanks for joining us out here in 11 Mile Reservoir near Lake George, Colorado, and we will see you back in the next video.